To be completely honest, I wasn't gonna upload this highlight from a stream a couple days ago, but it was so highly requested that I felt kinda obligated to. Basically, the other day on stream, I lost to a Toon Warrior, pretty much. I mean, there's certainly some other things that factored in. You'll see a pretty big misclick that probably loses me the game, but I think even disregarding that misclick at the very end that ended up technically costing me the game, uh, you can really see here how this Toon Warrior gets in. This is a fantastic example of Cabazal's theory. If you don't know what that is, I've made a couple videos about it in the past, but basically it says instead of letting one monster attack you like four times in a row in hopes that you eventually draw an out to it, it's better to just banish it or destroy it whenever you have the chance. In the context of uh, this game or this deck's spell books, the, the Cabazal's theory that usually comes up is whether or not you should um, flip monsters face down with Spellbook of Fate to attack over them, or if you should just banish them. And in the case of this game, I definitely should have banished his Toon Warrior. Um, this one Toon Warrior ends up taking out so many of my resources, it's actually just insane. So I really wanted to upload this video just as sort of a, a lesson for you guys to, uh, whenever you have the chance to kill something with a Spellbook deck, or even just a deck in general, definitely take those opportunities because maybe later on down the road, you might not have those opportunities anymore. And uh, yeah, it's also a pretty funny misclick at the end that hopefully you guys enjoy. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this replay. I'll let it kind of play out here. I'll see you later. Enjoy the replay. He's still a Patreon. No. I think we got rid of that more than a year ago. Pretty sure. That was like a while ago. Only had it for like three months or something. <clears throat> no, I had it for like four months maybe. How bad is it to do this? I don't know. I think this play is fine. Do you think anything besides Exceed Monster Bad to do links? Probably. Let's see, Pendulums came out in two years. That would be 2020. Which would be six years since they were released in the TCG. I don't think that's that unreasonable. Like at this point, Synchros and kind of Exceeds have become like the nostalgia thing. Because. Like, it's been 10 years since Synchros came out. This doesn't lose to Wall Disruption, so... <sighs> Sphere Grapo, you bitch. That's probably fine. I mean, do I wish I didn't double power? Yeah, but... Small field even be useful. Pendulums? Um... Yeah, I think so. Oh shit, that's a Hoonlay. Do I banish it? Wow, he actually did it, the madman. That Sphere Creepo fucked me up. We're gonna have a Synchro Monsters. What the fuck? Uh, that's rude. Oh, you know what's funny? Wait. Oh wait, this doesn't work. Fuck. Can he saber slash targeting? Oh man, I really wanted to uh... I really wanted to book my guy and then uh... have him destroy his own Toon Warrior, but he can still destroy the fate, so it doesn't work. Will Black Wings be useful in Duel Links? Not with the cards they gave him. <laughs> Number one scheme of things. Pretty good. Like it's cool when you draw like all spell books. Like I won't I won't lie. Like it, it's cool. Man, I feel like we're wasting so many cards. What happened? Oh yeah, the power. The power. 
what a disappointment. This is just a sphere creep deck with an X Saber engine. <laughs> You're right. See you later, Marcus. Are blue eyes sex good in Duel Links? They are not. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, because they're lying. How many spell books do we have in Grave? I hope it's four. Nice. We're actually like probably gonna lose this game. We've had to waste five banished cards and two power active three power activations to get over this Toon Warrior. So it's not looking so hot for us. How much defense does this guy have? Maybe I should have just Flipped it and not powered. Oh my god. Unlucky. <sighs> Man. This Toon Warrior has eaten four banished cards and three. No, he's gonna eat seven banished cards and three power activations <laughs> just to kill this Toon Warrior. That is the most insane value I have ever heard in my entire life. This Toon War- we just lost to literally just Toon Warrior. Nice. Oh man. You're like flipping this monster defense, huh? Then watch this, nerd. I can imagine this guy saying that. That'd be fun. Oh, thank god. It's not another Toon Warrior. <laughs> like, I guess I should have just banished it. I don't know. It only has 200 defense. I just wanted the value. I don't even think we have. Do we have Blue Boy anymore? Um, I got him. It's possible that we will get, um, exactly Silent Magician right here. I mean, that'd be good, obviously. So we'll have this, um... <laughs> I don't want to go for power again. I know what that road leads down. So the deck will be Fate, Organization, Secrets. Come on, Sound Magician. <sighs> Unlucky. If we would have just banished that Toon Warrior the first time, we would have won this. Oh, we didn't even summon a monster. Oh, no. I, oh. We wasted so many cards just to... <laughs> Never gonna draw a silent magician, it's impossible. I don't even know. Like, I literally just want the silent magician so bad. So, our goal here is he, or magical something, so he doesn't draw a monster here. And that's like, or he summons two monsters, but his deck can't do that, so it's probably just like, hopefully, he summons one monster. Oh, that could be a second monster. I don't know what trap card you can have where you can just flip it, but... Nice! Okay. 
Is that even good? Is that better than magical something? I'm not sure. Oh, I guess for the spell negation? Um, I don't actually know. Also, do I even want to search anything? I actually really wanted like magical something. So... I don't think we search. I think I think I actually just really need that magical something. So. Maybe he'll just like widespread her in this so we just win. He has a response. No. Thank you all for the support of Banishing Toon Warrior in the chat. Appreciate it. Oh man, it's so risky just to throw this in there. I don't want to do it. Well, yeah, I was gonna, but I don't want to. Yep. Okay. Okay, so hopefully he summons a monster. I know he loves those Toon Warriors. Nice. Ooh, wait. What could he possibly do with that? Yeah. <laughs> what does he do? Don't I just let that go through? Maybe not. Maybe he has like a spell card. I'm pretty sure I should have let that go through. But it's like, do I respect my opponent enough to think he like knows what he's doing? In which case, I should do this. But if I'm saying, if I don't respect my opponent and I think he doesn't know what he's doing, then it's like really good to not do that. <clears throat> I guess we'll just do this, see what happens. Is it Sphere Creeble or something? Last card in hand is Sphere Creeble Full, Full Home Knight. Full Home Knight is a lot worse with no main phase 2. Just saying. Yep. Yeah, I think he just doesn't know what this card does. Uh, that. <laughs> I was just clicking. Oh my god. I was just clicking. I was just clicking. I don't know if you guys know this guy has an effect that lets you negate attacks. All of you are like, summon and crash and win, like, he can just negate the attack. Luckily, I don't think there's a level 6 sinker that gets over this. I don't think there's a sinker that gets over this. And Saber Slash doesn't do it either. We're probably just going to deck out. Oh. throw maybe not 